first of all, just talk us through Madre, the idea, the concept, what it is that you're trying to bring here. Okay, so the, the idea came about up about a year ago. Um, we have a little restaurant on Smith Down Road called Belza, and um, we invited some friends up from a restaurant in London called Bredos to do a takeover with us. It's, as far as Mexican food goes, that's sort of the last word on Mexican food in the UK for us. We absolutely love what they do, um, and. Just after obviously doing the doing the service, we went out, had a few drinks, and just joked about opening a little taqueria and mezcal gaff together. And um, a year later, it's open. It sort of was a bit of a whirlwind, but we just wanted to bring some really authentic Mexican cuisine to the city and um, having the opportunity to do it in the docks has been amazing. So tell us about the food. So the food we try and keep as authentic as possible. Um, everything is sustainably sourced and sourced locally where that's possible as well. In terms of our best sellers, we have the Polo Pilpil taco, which is really, really popular. We make sure that we do like um, everything as slow cooked as possible when it comes to that. Um, same with the beer of the res. Uh, fish tacos are, are really, really popular. But then we also have sharing plates as well. So um, using a lot of Mexican spices, a lot of adobo, adobo and asciotti spices, um, and making sure that um, we really bring an authentic flavor of Mexico to the UK. We wanted to make sure that we were keeping and everything just true to the treats as much as we could. So is there any sort of vegan, veggie, gluten-free stuff on the menu as well? Yeah, there's all of it, it's necessary. I mean, Mexican cuisine is quite heavily meat influenced, but um, there are plenty of influences that don't have that as well. So you'll find that there is a big squash and burrata, um, tostada, um, there's plenty of fish options, there's an amazing ceviche on the menu as well. Um, uh, little cold big, cold big sweet potatoes. So there's plenty on the, on the menu for vegans and veggies. So you've been creating jobs as well, I take it, you hired all in new people, is it all new staff? Yeah, I think everyone, everyone apart from two or three people uh, are new in this one. We've always, we always have a policy of hire from within, but with this, the scale of this operation is so much bigger than our other two that we just needed to hire a lot more bodies. So what is going to make Madre stand out from the rest of the competition? Cool, um, I think really the summer is where we're going to come into our, into our own. We have a big courtyard outside, we plan on doing some really, really big events out there you know, for up to 200 people. And we want to just activate the city, this part of the city a lot more. The, this anchor courtyard is a lovely little space. It gets the sun all day and it's never really been utilized as it should do. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to capitalize on that a little bit and bring, you know, bring it back to life. It's, the docks has been a little bit of a sleeping giant in the city for a while. It had a tay day a long time ago, but now the likes of Murray moving in, the likes of Lunya moving in, ourselves, and we know of a couple of other people as well. Um, hopefully the idea is that we'll reinvigorate it as the summer comes.